you might as well exist because there will be plenty of time when you no longer exist anymore. Isn't that cute? You're not saying anything. The truth is things just keep existing and you don't get to choose what package of skin you're going to get stuck in. It's a lot of grief and suffering and being paralyzed and all this other crap for nothing. It doesn't even end. There isn't all this time that you spend not existing. Our body keeps on moving and we get up and it's animated and we don't even see why it bothers in the long run because the fate is the same for everyone. There is shit everywhere. There's suffering that abounds everywhere. You don't even know where to start to clean up the shit. Now somebody could say, no, it's really not worth it. How low should your standards be? How many get out of jail free? How many mistakes can it make? How flawed can it be? Philosophy is describing reality. You can get pretty goddamn angsty. You can never have a distinct system, so you probably should get comfortable with uh, juggling contradictions. There's a contradiction, there's a problem. Logically, it needs to be fixed. They should resolve them. In order for a person not to be very unhappy, a person should not expect to be very happy. So it's just basically saying keep your standards low. More blowy, showy bullshit. It's more show. This is less than Bazooka Joe philosophy. This isn't even close to getting to real human psychology. Yeah, right. So don't expect to be happy and then you'll be happier because you won't be expecting to be happy. How do I have a good time? I mean, if you can't figure that out, especially if you're a male, once again, fail. The universe is a dumb motherfucker. It couldn't help but make something stupid and ugly and messy. That's not the part that's depressing. It's the fact that you can't do anything about it that is depressing. I think some sense of romanticism is necessary. Let's play a different game because reality is a little too real. Stupid rationalizations and excuses and justifications. That's fine. You do them internally. But don't preach them. Don't argue them like they're philosophy. This is just basically saying talk shit, think shit, do shit. No, fuck that shit. Um, extremely pessimistic. Devoting yourself or throwing yourself to some passion. Stop wanting so much. You'll always want more and more and more. It's never enough. So it's a, you know, it's a big problem. Yeah, that's sort of my conclusion.